Welcome to the Selling from the Heart podcast on the SalesCast Network. You've joined a global movement of sales professionals who are dedicated to being authentic and building trust. We call it Selling from the Heart. Together, we are on a mission to bring sincerity and substance to the sales profession we all love. Get ready to be inspired and equipped as we join our hosts, Larry Levine and Daryl Amy. Great news. The Selling from the Heart book has been picked up by a New York publishing house and is now on the Barnes & Noble website. To help fuel the growth in our movement of authenticity, it'd be awesome to get the book not just on the website, but also on the shelves of Barnes & Noble stores. To do this, we need to demonstrate how popular this book is by pre-ordering as many copies as possible. To thank you for helping me with this huge goal, when you pre-order the book on barnesandnoble.com, I will say thank you with over $250 in special bonus items. To get started, please pre-order Selling from the Heart on the barnesandnoble.com website. Then go to sellingfromtheheart.net forward slash book to learn more about how to get your special bonus items. Thank you for your support as we continue to build this movement of authenticity inside the sales profession. Welcome back to the Selling from the Heart podcast. Your co-host, Daryl Amy, here today with Larry Levine. What's going on, Larry? Just beating the drum to the new music. Uh, You know, another great day in the Selling from the Heart podcast. Daryl, I am so excited for our conversation today. Stacey Hall is in the house, Selling from Your Comfort Zone. Get ready. This is going to be a phenomenal conversation. You're going to absolutely love this. And what I love about Selling from the Heart, Larry, is the community of people that are gathering around this movement of authenticity in the sales profession. Of course, we're just coming off the Selling from the Heart experience. And it's just such a fun time right now. We keep saying this, but this is so true. There is a movement of authenticity in the sales profession. And guess what? If you're listening to this podcast, (laughs) you're part of it. And we love hearing from people inside the community. No, we absolutely do. I just want to just give a special shout out to Michael Morris and Michael's out of the Charlotte, North Carolina area. And it's just been so, it's been so interesting and so heartfelt just to watch this guy's journey. But I just want to say, Michael, I enjoyed my conversation with you a couple of weeks ago. Keep selling from the heart. You're making a difference out in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. <laughs> that awesome, Michael. We we're hats off to you. We're cheering you on. And for everyone in the Selling from the Heart community that's saying, I want to be genuine, I want to be authentic, I want to build trust, all of the core aspects of Selling from the Heart, we say, go for it. And Larry, I'm so excited. We've got a such an exciting announcement right now. And that announcement is that Selling from the Heart has been picked up by a New York publisher. And you may have already seen this on LinkedIn But I am, Larry, I just want to say congratulations, hats off that uh, now the publishing world is noticing just what's going on inside Selling from the Heart and the book. And we've got so many exciting announcements coming up around that. You want to stay tuned. There's going to be some special offers for everybody that takes advantage of this this new uh, published edition of Selling from the Heart. I'm so excited, Larry. And it's just a testament to the movement of people out there that we're talking about that are saying, yeah, that's me. I'm, I am I want to sell from the heart. So tip of the hat to you, Larry, and oh, also thank massive you. thanks to everybody out there who's bought the book and who's going to buy the new edition here. And I'm so excited about the announcements that will be coming up. This is an exciting time, Larry, at Selling from the Heart. Oh, it's you know what? I, I'm like so over the moon on this because who would have thought Right here we are six years ago, the podcast releases shortly thereafter in 2018, the book comes out. Who would have known if we fast forward to 2023, all that would happen? It just goes to show you authenticity wins in a world full of what I call in chapter 10 of Selling from the Heart, empty suits. But that's not why we're here, (laughs) Daryl. Well, actually, the reason we're here is exactly that reason, because we've got (laughs) Stacey Hall in the house and you're going to love Stacey. She's the author of the book Selling from Your Comfort Zone. She's the founder of Success with Stacey Hall. She's best known for her groundbreaking social media marketing training uh, in her program, Go for Yes, which has helped thousands of people attract more sales 
customers, it's helped them with satisfaction and success. She is an acclaimed international speaker. She's been on TEDx. Her TEDx talk is incredible. And her mission is to help entrepreneurs attract and connect with their ideal audience, solve their ideal audience's problems, and leave a legacy that lives on long after they're gone. Are you fired up? No, I'm fired let's up. Go. Stacey Hall, welcome <laughs> to the Selling from the Heart podcast. It's great to have you here. It's great to be here. And I'm celebrating that your book is going to be getting out to a wider audience. Congratulations oh. on having it published. Thanks, with Stacey. With New York publisher. I really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's wow. So fun and, and such a kindred spirit. And that's why I've been so looking forward to your answer to the question, Stacey, that every guest on the Selling from the Heart podcast answers. And that is, what does it mean to you, Stacey, to sell from the heart? It, it means exactly that, that we are tapped into here and not up to here. We're not prepared to answer objections. We're prepared to be of support and be of service. And we're prepared to have empathy for where our prospects and our clients are sitting rather than making it about ourselves. Oh, this is, it's, it's so good. And I want to key in on a word that you just, actually it's two. You used empathy and you used prepare. And as we start, you know, our conversation together, I'm just hoping that you could just peel this back just a little bit more. So walk us through Stacy's lens. What's that look like for somebody who prepares for empathy? Walk us through that. I'd just be curious. Okay. Well, know. it's it, it's really preparing to hear a yes rather than a no. And if we are, then it allows us to relax and be able to ask questions of the person to find out where they're sitting, right? What's going on between here for them in, in any aspect of their life, not just about like I got pitched this morning on LinkedIn, as we all do. Didn't even get a connection request, right? Person says to me, I saw you're interested in such and such topic, which I am, but I don't recall ever putting that out there. So I got a script, right? And then it immediately, I'm being told mm. the benefits of saying yes to the person. <laughs> and I, you, it, if, if that person had met me on the street or at a party and had done that to me, I would have said, Thank you. Nice to meet you and walked away, which <laughs> I do on LinkedIn. Right. Right. Thank you. Uh, appreciate knowing you and um, wish you the best. That's not empathy. Empathy would have been, hey, I checked out your profile. I see that you do X. I'm wondering if you deal with a lot of the same issues that other people in your field do, such as, and you list out here some of the problems I know that need to be addressed. If you do, I'd like you to know that I may have a solution to that. Would you like to explore it further? To me, that's empathy. Do you have these problems that other people in your industry do? And would you like to explore how I might be able to solve them rather than just throwing your solutions at me without knowing if I do? To me, that's empathy. I like that because there's a part to that which is very, very, very practical. Um, there's a part to, to empathy that, that might be a little on the emotional, touchy-feely side. But there's also the part to empathy that says, I've done my homework and I am bringing, it's what we talk about in the yep. trust formula. You got to have authentic relationship and you need to pair that with meaningful value that you really actually have taken the time to do your homework. I love that. I love the concept of going in and I was listening to your book. And by the way, if you haven't got a copy of Selling from Your Comfort Zone, hit pause right now, click the link in the show notes or go to Amazon or wherever you get your books and grab a copy right now because it's, it's really fascinating because you have, and you already alluded to it, you have the mindset that most of us as salespeople were taught to expect objections and get ready to handle the objection and, and do all of that. But you say something that is counterintuitive, but I absolutely love is, well, why are we going in expecting objections? Why don't we expect good things to happen? <laughs> right. That's, and 
I'm not here to do battle. I'm here to do business. (laughs) (laughs) That's good. I love that. (laughs) Not here to do battle. I'm here to do business. Sorry, that is the uh, business over verbal highlighter. Stacy, business over battle. Yes. That is a t-shirt right there. (laughs) I love that, Stacy. I'm so well, sorry. Not yes, going to do yes, battle. Let's put that one together. Excuse me. I have a little bit of the, you know, <laughs> the, the spring thing here going on. So because of that, because I expect to make friends, mm-hmm. I think about if I was meeting somebody at a party. Okay. Now I'm talking about whether it's a social media platform or actually in person, somebody is making it possible for me to meet this person. Mm-hmm. Either it was a networking event where we met or it was on social media in some way that I know about this person, but I put myself in the mindset of I've just walked into a party. Mm. I know that if it's a good party, I'm probably going to walk out with some new friendships. That's the mindset I go into. So if it's in business, same thing. If it's a good connection, I'm probably going to wind up with a friend. How do I treat a brand new friend? I ask some questions about them. And the beauty of social media, which is different than meeting somebody face-to-face for the first time, is, as you said, Daryl, I can do all that research. Why people do not look at our profile pages why they do not ask me questions about, wow, I saw you got a recommendation from so-and-so for doing that. I'd love to know more about that. I have yet to receive a connection request that says something like that ever. Mm -hmm. Instead, it's pitch me your product and then tell me if you want to know more about my product. No, I want to know more about that. So being a girl, I'm just going to say I'm very girly. I love shoes. If I saw a woman at a party and I didn't know what else to say to her, I go, oh, my God, I love your shoes. Where'd you get them? That would start a conversation, (laughs) right? Yeah, absolutely. A guy would probably not do that. What would a guy, if you're at a party and somebody says, you two should know each other, what would be the first thing you would say to a guy? Oh, there's so many things. Uh, I'm going to give up one of my bad habits. I mean, I, I hang out with uh, other guys at cigar shops. So it's like, what are you smoking? Like yeah. that is right. It's just like what you, you can, I mean, guys, we wear brands all over ourselves, sports teams and yep. all kinds of things. Right. Yeah. And that's, uh, that's such a natural way to start a conversation. Well, no, I, I want, I, I, this is good stuff because Daryl, you just, you just keyed on a word that I was thinking about Stacy. And this is, this is just my firm belief is, and this is going to be sales centric just because the audience is, I mean, obviously made up of executives, sales leaders, sales professionals, and so forth is we're not coaching in training salespeople enough in how to open these conversations that connect it's right. It, we're short-sighted. It's I meet Stacy. How fast can I try to sell something to Stacy or ask just enough that I can push Stacy into whatever cycle or whatever journey, however you want to call it, as opposed to how can I open up a conversation with Stacy that connects, that I can relate to her, that she views me as being relevant, that I can then say, okay, based on this, would you be open to dot dot dot? Exactly. Exactly. And and again, social media makes that so easy. Ask me something about my profile. Mm-hmm. Say, I saw this on your profile. I would love to know more about that. Okay. What would you like to know? Let's start a conversation. I'll most likely go to your private profile, find something there and go, okay, I'll tell you about this. I'd love to know more about that. Now, we know we're in the same arena, right? We, I know the person's probably got an opportunity they're going to want me to look at. I'm not stupid. We know that that's the case. But can we start out by getting to know each other first? Can we dance a little bit before you, you know, take me home, so to speak? Mm-hmm. So that's, I, and of course, that's what you all say too. Selling from that is selling from your heart. Let's drop into what we care about. Tell me why you care about that. I'll tell you why why I'm interested in what you care about. 
Now we start that process. So Larry, that's where the empathy comes from. Nobody know, nobody wants to know how much we know. They want to know how much we care first. And that's yeah. the premise of your book. I love no, it. It's, you know, it's just, it's just interesting. This, this is the whole philosophy, you know, around your book, around the selling from the heart movement is we have to change the paradigm and I'm a big perception believer, right? Yes. It's yeah. perception, first impressions, all of this matters. And this is what I want people to just think about and stop for a moment is perceptions reality. Whether you believe me or not, that's your opinion. But we have to start thinking about entering every conversation, every connection, especially if we have our sales hat on, we're already behind the eight ball already. And this is why in the trust formula, we talk about inspirational experiences or how you show up. I believe you're responsible for how you show up, mm -hmm. whether that be face to face or whether that be online. And that to me, that this goes back to your whole premise is in, instead of right, it, instead of looking for that objection, going for the yes and just going for the connection, being able to engage and drive that conversation in a very human way. That's yeah. what I love about your message, Stacey. Well, I appreciate that, Larry. And we are in sync. And yes is like people often say to me when I say, get out there and make some offers. Oh, I'm scared to make an offer because you think an offer is immediately to sell something for the financial exchange. Mm -hmm. Why not give people an opportunity to say, yes, would you like to have a call? Yes, would you like to be a subscriber to my newsletter? I've got tips for people in your industry. Would that be of interest to you? Why can't we give people opportunities to say yes to things that are risk-free to get to know us. And you talk about the trust factor, cannot sell something with a financial exchange if there's no trust built yep. in the first place. And this is, this like, it just, it drives me crazy. And yet I know where it comes from. from and I talk about in the book, my dad was in sales because everybody said he was good with people. He was so good with people. He didn't want to do battle either. And so he wasn't great at sales. Sometimes. <laughs> but I listened to those tapes growing up. I know all the trainers. I know what the training is. I heard it from the time I was little till I was in my teens till I got into my into business myself. It's the old like you can even picture the cartoon, right, of the salesperson knocking on the door. The fuller brush person was a man back then, always a man. Fuller brush man knocking on the door. The housewife opens the door and the door and the foot goes right. <laughs> right. Yes. That's the still the sales techniques that are being taught, as you well know, other than ourselves. That's why the script, that's why the expectation they're going to open the door and they're going to say no to you. So get in there right away. The foot of the door. <laughs> <laughs> Literally <laughs> Daryl, but I'm, I'm, I love yeah. it. What a great conversation. And uh, we've got, uh, we're going to pause for just a moment for a word from our sponsor. And, and then we're going to hear from Tom Frederick. As as everyone knows, uh, at Selling from the Heart, we love hearing from our audience. And so uh, if you want to submit uh, the answer to the question, what does it mean to you to sell from the heart? Just text the word video to 21,000. That's video to 21,000. You'll get a link back. It'll tell you how to submit a video that we'd love to feature on an upcoming episode. But right now, we're going to hear from our friend Tom Frederick about what it means to him to sell from the heart after a brief word from our sponsors. Daryl here, and I'm excited to share with you one of the most innovative tools we've come across in a long time. Our partners at Y Institute have developed an amazing platform that helps people discover their Y operating system. It's truly amazing. In 10 minutes or less, you can know why you do what you do how you bring your why to life and what people can count on from you. It's truly the first step in self-awareness. If you're a coach or a sales leader who believes in helping your people understand who they are so they can be the best version of themselves, you've got to check this out. All you need to do is go to whyinstitute.com and look for the why certification page. We'll put the link in the show notes. When you reach out to the Y Institute, let them know you heard about it here on Selling from the Heart, and you'll be on your way to helping your team discover what drives them.
Hello, Larry. This is Tom Frederick. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, participate, contribute. Uh, regarding what it means to sell from the heart, uh, what I would say to add to all the other excellent content you've been getting is um, if, if your team could imagine your clients actually in the room as you are internally preparing for a presentation, introduction, etc., to a prospect or a client, uh, going through how you look at them, how you want to bring value, um, what your long-term plans are. Uh, if they could listen to that internal discussion and uh, you'd be perfectly fine with that, that probably is a good indication that you're selling from the heart, that you're working, truly working for uh, a long-term, mutually beneficial relationship as opposed to just trying to close a deal. Uh, so I hope that's helpful. Again, uh, thank you for the opportunity to participate. Oh, oh is that right in that line is, with what we're talking about or what? That is, exactly. that is so good. Imagine just for a moment, Stacy. imagine somebody being a fly on the wall to the conversation before the conversation. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. boy. Yes, exactly. And that That's preparation. Yeah. That's beautiful, Tom. I absolutely love it. Um, so once again, if you want to submit a video, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Just text the word video to 21,000. That's video to 21,000. And we might feature you on an upcoming episode of Selling from the Heart. Stacy, going back to selling from your comfort zone. One of the things I really like about this book, and I like a lot of things about this book, we highly recommend everybody listening in, go grab a copy right now. You're going to want to leave a review on this one, I'm pretty sure, when you're done. Um, grab a copy. But what I like about the book is you take this concept of know, like, and trust that we say all the time in sales. But when I listen to you teach on it, it's like you unpacked that as a progressive thing. I'm going to get to know you. I'm going to get to like you. And then I'm going to get to trust you. Um, I'd love for you to share a little bit about your, your theory behind that and, and how you see that playing out. Well, and I want to give credit. I, I think more and more of this concept, just as you're sharing it, is being shared and being adopted. Thank goodness. You know, it's it's the human approach. Any psychologist would tell you that that is the best way to build a long lasting friendship. And that's what I want with my customers, right? With my clients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So first, we identified that we now know each other. But that's not friendship. That's just awareness. Being able to provide valuable content. So what I like to do is when I send out a connection request, I do exactly what I've all told you that I do. I let the person know that I looked at their profile and I found something I would be interested in knowing more about that. If they accept my connection request, they tell me more. I say, great. Because you're in this industry, I'm wondering if my newsletter would be of interest to you. I provide tips on such and such. Now it gives them a way to engage with me, see what I'm putting out into the world. If they start engaging with my newsletter, they like it, they write a comment about it. I can now engage further there. What was of interest to you? Would you like to have a conversation to explore this more? What kind of challenges do you experience related to this topic? We have a conversation. We get on a call. We have a conversation about that. And I say I get on a call because I actually don't travel anymore. I just love meeting people all around the world from here. Yeah. And that's the conversation. So tell me more. What has been your experience? I'm asking questions. I'm not telling anything. I'm not prepared to tell anything. I'm prepared to know what my service or my product actually does and what problems it solves. That I'm prepared for. But in the conversation, I'm not prepared to tell that. I'm prepared to sit and listen and ask questions that help me identify, does this person need what I've got back here? The more I'm asking, the more they're telling. At a certain point, inevitably, they will start asking me questions. If, if yep. they're interested at all in having a relationship, it will automatically turn to them start asking me questions. I'm ready to answer. And that is a normal 
comfortable. That's what I mean by comfort. I don't mean lazy. I mean, you're being inside alignment with your values, your experience, your products. It's a knowing place. It's a power place without having to be assertive. I'm confident here. This is where I live. I want to know more about you. That energy makes people want to know what you're up to. What have you got? Can you help me? Mm. Oh, th- th- I, this is this is great stuff, Stacey. And, yeah. and, and that's why, I mean, I'm just a big believer. You just never know somebody until you really start engaging in a conversation because one conversation can change the course of one's sales career. But I just, I, I just want to throw this back, you know, at you is where did you pick up on this? I, I'm just somewhere down the road, there was a tipping point in this. And where was that tipping point where Stacey goes, you know what, I'm going to flip the script on this. And I'm going to yeah. do it this way. Walk us through what what was that point? It well, <laughs> it started as I told you. I grew up with, around my dad, so I had said I wasn't going into sales. So <laughs> I got a degree in marketing, advertising, radio, and television production, and PR. Everything behind the scenes, right? <laughs> Getting the salespeople ready. And I would do that, and we would have these great marketing programs, and then I'd see the salespeople doing. Like it just like this, right? The marketing that I would put together for major corporations, I'm blessed to have been involved with some pretty major ones, at the start of my career, would be this friendly, you know, we're here to support you. And then the sales department would go in with this pushy approach. And then I can't say I decided to go out on my own right from there. I just was like, there's got to be a way to change this. Couldn't figure out how to do it. It's too big a ship to turn around back then. But I wound up volunteering for the Small Business Development Center in Texas. And they handed me a manual to go teach realtors, hairstylists, you know, insurance brokers, entrepreneurs primarily. And it had nothing, you know, it's like how to get a business loan, not how to connect with your customers. Uh So this was about 25 years ago and I went, but boom, (laughs) I can make a difference with entrepreneurs. And if I can show that I can make a difference there, it will translate. And like you said, it's a number of years later, but it is companies are starting to pay attention So I've trained thousands of entrepreneurs to go through the alignment marketing formula that I teach is how to be in alignment with yourself, with your products, with your clients, how to believe in that alignment so you don't have to be pushy and spammy. You can just stand in confidence. And then how to take consistent action every day towards building an audience, engaging an audience, getting your audience to trust you, And then making your offers. And um, that's it. So it's been kind of the slow progression. I'm glad I'm still alive to see. (laughs) (laughs) That, you know, entrepreneurs latched onto it right away. Companies finally are getting the message, as you well know. Yeah, absolutely. What a great conversation. And Stacey, I'm so excited for everyone to get their hands on this book. As we wrap up, how can people get the book and more importantly, get more Stacy Hall in their lives. Well, I appreciate it. If I may, I'll just so that people can see the cover. There it is. It's oh, that pretty good. I've got yeah. mine on my, uh, on my mobile device. So hey, by, the way, hey, by the way, Stacy, nice subtle heart on the front of the cover of the book. I picked it, it up when you sent it to me a long time ago, but I love the heart in the middle of the book. Beautiful. I do too. And I love your heart right there too. And, <laughs> and I'm glad because actually our books would have wound up looking very similarly because I had a design that but the graphic designer from my <laughs> publisher came up with something similar to that. And I went, I want more color. So I'm glad that we are complementary and not exactly the same. So there's no confusion. Okay. And yet they go together very quickly. They go together. Um, so Audible, Kindle, paperback, everywhere books are sold. Also published by a traditional publisher. The easiest way and to get a free gift from me is to go to my website, which is Stacy Ann Hall. So Stacy 
And then my middle name, Ann, A-N-N, Hall, H-A-L-L.com, that easy. And if you go to the courses tab, Eight Steps to a Sale is mm-hmm. there. It's free. It's a recorded training to go from beginning to end. Build, engage, sell. Beautiful. Stacy. Uh, thank you so stuff. much for sharing time with us. You are a true Selling from the Heart champion, and we really... Yes. I've enjoyed sharing time with you today and I know it won't be the last time. So thanks so much and um, wishing you cheering you on big time. Well, thank you. It's been a delight to be in your studio. I am a huge selling from your heart champion fan. Uh, That's absolutely two copies. I've got I love two it. copies of your book. Uh, I love it. So, it's so good. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. Uh, very welcome. Thank you, Stacy. What an incredible uh, conversation. We're not here to do battle. We're here to do business. <laughs> I think that was so great. I think, <laughs> hey, Stacy, it's right. It's business over battle. I, I love it. That's yeah. such a, so many good things here. And I think this whole concept of um, what we were, we were taught to sell being someone different than who we are going in, expecting objections and bad things to happen. And no wonder we're all stressed out. No wonder. Uh, but when you sell from your heart and uh, it, this alignment here with, how your authentic self sells you uh, right there from the cover of selling from the heart. This is when you show up with your authentic self, caring, prepared. This is when selling is uh, not only enjoyable, it's also very effective. No, absolutely. You know, there, there are so many golden nuggets in our conversation with Stacy, but what I, what I really loved was just grab some subtle yeses. Mm -hmm. And they're not tremendous over the top yeses. It just, I I love the example, you know, from time to time, would would you be open? Could I share some ideas with you? May I send you my newsletter? Something as simple as that. It's a head nod. Yes. Right. And just these subtle yeses, but these subtle yeses magnified over time, consistency, watch what starts to happen when you take that conversation to the next step. Absolutely. Well, there's so many good things right now. And um, once again, Larry, I just want to say tip of the hat. Congratulations. Hip, hip, hooray on the <laughs> uh, the release of Selling from the Heart and with the New York publisher, uh, which is going to expand the distribution and expand the movement. And so once again, for everybody listening in, we'll have instructions here very shortly on how you can be a part in the relaunch of this book. So we can build more momentum around the movement of authenticity right here in the sales profession. It's what we're all about. Thank you to everybody who is uh, liking, commenting, subscribing on YouTube, leaving reviews. All of these things help uh, us spread the word together about, hey, you don't have to sell the way that you think you have to sell. You can sell from your comfort zone. You can sell from the heart. It's okay. Not only is it okay, it's, it's the necessary. Way. It's the way to do it <laughs> because we're here not to do battle, but to do business. I love it. <laughs> so fun. We've got a great roster of guests coming on throughout the rest of the spring and the summer. So make sure to like or subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Till next time, keep being genuine, keep being authentic, keep building trust sell from your comfort zone. And most of all, you got to sell from the heart.